What's going on, all you revolutionites out there in the YouTube sphere? It's your boy Relentless bringing you yet another division video. And yes, that is the Reclaimer uh, vanity set. Uh, I pretty much have them all now, and kind of thoroughly enjoy the vanity items. And hope you guys at home or wherever you may be watching this video are having a fantastic time playing 1.7. Now, before we get into this build video. There are a few things I would like to discuss with you guys about 1.7, and I want to know you, you, your feedback, and you can leave that in the comments, or you can click on the discussion button on my channel, and we can discuss it. But I've been having some issues as far as, you know, it's always been an issue as far as the delay in your heels, but also uh, it's been like a three or four second delay after you pop a skill uh, in general, then then when you try to fire like say you pop your booster shot and then you pop out of cover and try to shoot there's like a two or three seconds where you can't fire a bullet whatsoever and also i was using a shotgun um and i would fire off two rounds and the third one after mashing the trigger four or five times it would not shoot and then finally after you know a good five second delay it began shooting again and that's also happened to several other people in the revolution gaming community and i just want to know if it's happening to you guys out there also these uh engineers that can snipe you from two football fields away with supreme accuracy and damage using a complete shotgun i mean come on if you're going to fix the ones actually in the game massive uh for the actual human players then that needs to be dealt with and if they're going to plan on using a shotgun as npc then they should be limited as in just as much range as we are but anyways that's just my little little rant there's other things you know that need to be tweaked but i'm pretty sure uh if enough of us submit the videos like i have maybe they can uh fix these situations but anyways without further ado let's hop right into this build video and this build is called the final authority so let's get right into the gear first it's four-piece final measure utilizing the ninja bag uh now that's exactly what it is the ninja bag the ninja bike messenger bag and i get 25 percent exotic damage against 15 percent protection from elites and when in range of a hostile grenade or mortars uh they are diffused then adds a grenade to your inventory it can only happen once every eight seconds and I have firearms and skill haste in both mod slots and on the stats itself. I wish the armor values were a little bit higher, um, but it is a classified gear set, so it has uh, better stats on it. Uh, $13.99 in firearms. Uh, great, uh, awesome roll in the major attributes at 16, 545 in health, and 9% skill haste. Now moving on to the Tactician's Authority Mask. 1249 in electronics, 8785 in skill power, and blind death resistance, 996 in armor, which is a good armor roll on a mask. Moving on to the knee pads, uh, decent armor roll. Like I said, I wish that was higher. I'm still grinding for better ones. Uh, and I'm pretty sure once, you know, these uh, classified gear sets comes out with these, it'll just make this build even more potent and even more viable. Um, 1221 electronics, 16187 in health, shock resistance, bleed resistance, and an increased kill XP, which doesn't really matter unless you're just grinding out there. Moving on to the backpack, 1310, great and awesome armor roll on this. Uh, 1398 in firearms, 12816 in health, and 55% ammo capacity. And as you can see, firearms with skill haste and two first aid self heals. Moving on to the gloves, crit hit chance, enemy armor damage, and assault rifle damage, 1381 in firearms, and 982 in armor. Now, you can substitute enemy armor damage for uh, crit hit damage, or you can substitute it for, let's say, uh, additional skill haste. It all depends on what you want to do. Um, this had no crit chance on it, and it had um, something I just really didn't want. So therefore, I had to roll the main stat and also put crit chance on it because if you don't have crit chance, then your crit hit damage is worthless. So I opted in for the crit chance instead of the crit damage. Um, and the enemy armor damage does play its part and assault rifle damage. Now on to the holster, 1396 firearms, 1399 in stamina and 1391 in electronics. And as you can see, 3.5% crit hit chance. Now, if I chose to, I could go to uh, this final measure uh, holster, which has the health on it, if I want to be. 
Uh, I wouldn't say a little more tanky because that's a, like 11,000 in health. That's basically one or two more bullets from either NPC or another player. And also I have this classified uh, final measure holster and also this one. So I have multiple ones to choose from and all I'm missing is the knee pads to actually have a whole six piece yet. But before I got into that, I just wanted to come up with something, you know, out of the norm for um, such as like maybe running clear sky or just something for those uh, pesky grenaders on other incursions or even roaming around the DZ. Uh, yes, I would prefer the six piece set, but with the skill haste, as you can see, I'll rock over. So you can see my stats, 26.5% enemy armor damage. Uh, I have 39% skill haste, and my health pool is at 200 and 124, and my armor is at 3199. So that is the build. That's what I tend to run. Uh, it has awesome survivability. Um, it also puts out enough damage, and we'll get into the weapons now, which is a brutal. Yes, I stuck focused on there. With no skills or on cooldown, your weapon damage is increased by 10%. I figure with uh, this build to make a, a little more, uh, so it's, I won't be popping that many skills, but if I have to, as you see, I have significant enough skill power and have a little meat in my skill. But before, such as, you know, I drop immune box or pulse or anything along that line or in heal, the first initial shot that you say if you're going to go rogue on somebody and you start shooting, that you basically want to bait their heal out first uh, and still inflict a little bit more damage and then be able to pop yours. So that way your, your health is extended over theirs and it'll be much easier to down them. And as you can see, magazine size, create chance, create hit damage, the trifecta also in the large optics with the crit hit uh, chance damage, headshot damage also in the large muzzle, and in the underbarrel, a little bit of stability for the lightweight M4 accuracy and optimal range. Now moving on to the MP5, fierce, deadly, and vicious with uh, the trifecta basically on everything with crit hit chance, crit hit damage uh, on the small optics. The small barrel and then the under barrel just create damage, accuracy, and reload speed. Now, I completely enjoyed this, and then I'm going to uh, show you the, all the other loadouts that I currently have. Of course, you know that is uh, the updated skull build here with the 441k skill power. That uh, video is in the uh, box down below on my channel, and also you can see the Lone Star six piece right there and then we have the fire crest i'm waiting trying to find a great uh final measure chest piece and i'll be able to plug that in and then i got to uh, put some weapons out of my stash in this and that video will be up to go so be looking forward to that and as you see dead eye i'm just missing the knee pads on it uh so that video will be coming up and as you can see that's the one i just went over and also, that bit will be coming up. That'll be the Immortal. That'll be up tomorrow. But be sure to check out the links in the description below. Uh, Revolution Gaming, the Gleam link for the giveaway. And since the YouTube ads are completely shut, uh, and they have been for a while due to the boycott on the ads and on certain videos, so if you want to, it'd be much appreciated. Become a patron in all these giveaways I'm doing. I've been giving away uh, two $25 gift cards each and every week this month, and I'll continue to do that. Uh, to get entered into those along with this console giveaway and the next week, I mean next month uh, It'll also be a scuff controller um, If you want to become a patron, there's a patron link down in the description below uh, You can get all the awesome gifts uh, that'll be listed there and also be entered into quadruple uh, Times as all these giveaways come up. So if you you know like and subscribe and to the channel and then you become a patron and instead of getting two entries you're basically going to have eight entries into the giveaway so it increases your chance but if you want to donate and just give a one-time offer uh then my paypal link is down there and it'll be much appreciated but by all means you do not have to i just appreciate you guys tuning in showing me some love commenting on it let me know your feedback I, uh, my fans out there, what little bit I have on my subs, I appreciate each and every one of you, and thank you so much. And this is your boy Relentless, and we'll see you guys.